Hi, you YouTubers, it's the Superman G. Come back at you one more again. And in this video, I want to talk to you about something that came across one of my clients' computers last week. And I had never ever seen this before. And this is something I want to share with you all. So if you encounter it, or if someone you know encounters it, you'll be able to give them the necessary information to help them out. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is bring up a window. I'm gonna show you the message that appeared on their monitor. And it's talking about the Epson printer that they have. Uh, it's an Epson WF4720 series. And this message appeared saying, uh, Epson maintenance box is nearing the end of its service life. Now I'm thinking when I see this, I'm thinking, okay, well the black is low, so maybe it's the black cartridge that's um, getting low and it's going to soon need to be replaced. But however, that's not what this is talking about. It is, if you look down here, it says maintenance box service life and it has this number T6715. This is something else and it says prepare a new maintenance box in advance. You cannot print when it is at the end of its service life. Follow the instructions on the printer's LCD screen. So I went online and I typed in what the error was and apparently this is something that Epson has to where you have to replace this box, this maintenance box. Apparently this maintenance box is like a little a bucket and it catches unused or spilled ink that may not have gone onto the paper. But in any case, this isn't something that you can just ignore for a period of time because as you can see in this uh, right up right here it says you cannot print or clean the print head while the maintenance box is full but you can perform tasks that do not require ink such as scanning i went to epson's website and this maintenance box is 2249 now not all epson printers need this there are there are probably a few of them that do not require this so you have to check your printer's documentation to make sure however I went to our trusted friends over at Amazon and I found one for $10. And this is a remanufactured maintenance box. Now the uh, model number that they needed was the WF4720, which if you look back on the picture, it shows WF4720. So this is the model that the my client needed and I ordered it it came in uh, yesterday and it worked I put it in took the old one out rather put the new one in and it worked and now they're back up and printing again so if you ever come across this issue with any of your clients or friends or family or or, or even your own printer if you have an Epson then this fix or replacement of this maintenance box will help you to resolve that issue that you may have. I hope this helps you guys out. You all take care, be safe, and peace out.